All right, friends, so we have been reading stories that are about fall or apples or different things like that. Looking at the picture on the cover of this book, what do you think, what predictions can you make about the book we are going to read? It's probably about a bear. That's a big scary bear on the front of our uh, book there. The title of my story is called Every Autumn Comes the Bear. So we know there's probably going to be a bear. Today, I want you to tell me what the author does and what the illustrator does. The author writes the words and the illustrator draws the pictures. So let's read our story. Every autumn comes the bear. There is a wooden hill behind our farm. It is a wild and rugged place and there are many ro uh, rocks as there are trees. Every autumn after the leaves have fallen, a bear shows up. So who's our character? He walks out on the cliff where the ravens perch. He growls into the bobcat's lair. The bear follows every trail just to see where each trail leads. He drinks cold water from the spring and claws a tall, straight tree. The other animals hide from the bear, but he knows they are there. He smells the scent of a fox. He hears the grouse bursting into flight. A grouse is that bird. When the hill is white with snow, the bear climbs the highest rock. He looks out over all the treetops. Then, searching Amid the hilltop boulders, he finds a den and crawls inside. Nestled there against the cold rock with only fat and fur to keep him warm, he sleeps all winter long. So, we predicted that our story was going to be about a bear. Tell me what the author and the illustrator do. Tell me what happened to the bear. Where is he at? Where does he end up? And what are some things that happen to him in between?